Hello, and welcome to the Mount Vernon Library Commons September update. I'm here with Christine Baldwin from HKP. You've been with the project for a long time, Christine. Can you tell me more about your involvement? I've been involved since the beginning of the project, all the way back in the initial stages, including schematic design and programming. So we started in that early phase, and here we are in construction, and we're just as involved now as we were back then. Why are architects involved in the construction phase? I mean, aren't you done? <laughs> No, we like to be here so that we can ensure that the design intent is maintained through construction and to help contractors work through any questions that might arise uh, in the midst of construction. All right. So can you tell me a little bit more about what's happening this past month at the Mount Vernon Library of Commons? Yeah, the contractors continued with construction work. There's a lot of concrete on the building and they're actually getting very near the end of all of the concrete work, which we should see it be complete here at the end of the month. Awesome. I hear we're going to be topping out. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah. So the topping out is typically when the last element of the work is complete from a vertical standpoint. So that's going to be the final pour of concrete, which is on the, the fourth floor, but on the east end of the building. I also hear that things are going to get a little rough. Can you tell us more about the roughing in process that's happening as well? Yeah. Rough in for electrical, mechanical, plumbing and fire protection will start here pretty soon especially since they've started more work on the interior, such as the interior wall framing. So we're going to start to see a lot of pipes going up and conduit going up in the inside of the building. So along the lines of fire, one of the questions we often get about the building is what happens if a vehicle catches fire in the Mount Vernon Library of Commons? This building has fire protection throughout. So if there is a fire in one of the parking levels, there is fire protection to address that. I hear this building is called a non-flammable building. What's that about? It is a non-combustible building because it is constructed of concrete, which is non-combustible. You can also see behind me that we have metal studs, which are also considered non-combustible. This differs from what most houses are, which is typically a wood framing construction. One of the advantages of the steel uh, framing that we see behind us is it allows us to have a taller height wall, which ensures that our interior space has a higher volume and higher ceiling height. Excellent. So one of the things that people really want is a temperature controlled environment. And I hear one of the things that we're doing is called Passive House that helps that temperature control and a good like interior volume. That's right. So this building is being designed to be Passive House certified. And what that involves is a very, very insulated envelope to the building. That allows us to have to heat the building less in the winter months and cool the building less in the summer months in times of wildfires there will be less smoke that is brought into the indoor spaces of the library, making sure that the interior space is more comfortable for the occupants, such as the library patrons. Excellent. Thank you so much for being here and telling us about the project over the past month. And with that, bye for now.